famous new side mirrors. Very big bar continuing all the way to the other side. There you go. And in boost function, 5.7. I can tell you guys, this display is really fast with response time. 55 Quattro. What's up guys and welcome back to a new inside series of this new beautiful blue metallic colored Audi e-tron. Yeah, Audi has gone electric indeed. So well, let's have a full look at the option list of this Audi e-tron 55 Quattro. Here we go. The name of this paint is anti gau Blue Metallic. Interior leather black Valcona with some grey stitching. 360 horses, full electric and an over boost function. They call it boost. 408 horses. The same with the Nuda of Torque, 561 in normal mode. And with an over boost function you have 664 Nuda meters of Torque. Acceleration also two numbers 6.6 .6 and in boost function 5.7. Top speed 200 kilometers an hour. Base price in the Netherlands 84,350 euros. And this is a launch edition with an optional price of 823 euros. Let's highlight a few options. So we have a panoramic roof, we have metallic paint, acoustic windows, bang and audio audio system in the interior on the infotainment. Audio phone box, DAB radio, leather Valcona, seats for electric adjustable width memory seats, comfort key, Nepal leather, sport seats in the front, seat heating in the front. On safety and technology, we have Audi Assistant Package Tour, we have a top view 360 camera, we have 21 inch S arm turbine wheels. On the mirrors, the famous Audi Virtual Mirrors, optional, matrix LED, ambient lighting. Giving this a total end price, as you maybe already saw in the Netherlands, including all tax. Audi e-tron, Audi's first ever electric road car. Let's have a look at the front design. First, you see we still have that big single grill. On this model, it's silver colored, so you have all kind of silver details here. Also down here below, on that little sort of front splitter. Very nice e-tron in the center, front camera, part of the 360 camera. Still see we have some park pilots integrated in the grill. And here below the big sensor, for example, the adaptive cruise control. The headlights of the e-tron. So in the center you have your matrix LEDs, your high beam. Here on top the day driving lights with the bars. Okay, the optional 21 inch wheels. Really big, really aggressive. With the e-tron specific calipers in orange. With measures of 265, 21 inch. These are the famous new side mirrors called Audi's virtual mirrors. So these are actually cameras. There's also a little camera for the 360 camera. So here you have a little LED bar and there we have the camera producing your view inside the car. So I will quickly demonstrate how fast actually the camera is working. So you can see how fast the display is actually responding. There's no lag. Very, very natural and very fast. Here below on this side skirt, this has, the, this has the option of the contrast black side skirts. Silver window trim on top. This one has no privacy glass. Look at the rear wheels. Measures of also 265, 21 inch. And again, that orange e-tron colored caliper. Really beautiful to see that coupe line. See, we have also a little spoiler here, giving it a <laughs> definitely more sport look. Let's go 
continue to the rear side of the e-tron instantly getting my attention are these wing design matrix led bars it's a very big bar continuing all the way to the other side of the car and of course audi has a beautiful animation on the rear matrixes Get the e-tron logo in silver and the model indication 55 quattro not to forget also here the camera the rear camera part of the 360 camera all silver details here coming back also in the rear side so in that little well let's name it a rear diffuser we have no exhaust Let's have a look at the engine of this e-tron, fully electric, there we go, this is electric life guys. So here we have all cables, all cables are stored here in the front, I'll call it trunk hood. This is the key of the e-tron, let's have a look at the trunk. proper size trunk space there's some extra space if you need so yeah definitely a big trunk still strange to see an electric uh, front hood so if you remember back in the days with the plug-in Audis you know that your connection was in the front in the grill but not for the e-tron it's on the side there you go with a touch of a button your connection opens or closes. Let's have a look in the interior of the new e-tron. So first of all, you can see that we're dealing with the edition one of the e-tron. And in the doors, you can see some modern Audi designs, just like the A8 and the A6 and the A7. So that nice ambient lighting in the metal trim. And here you can see how they changed the door design, the door handle with the display there's my hand here we go with the display of the side mirror i can tell you guys this display is really fast with response time whoop, whoop, whoop. yeah that's fast that's fast <laughs> so here below the memory seat buttons the button for the trunk alcantara and leather combined Forget LED light and door sill. And then we have the point of view in the e-tron. Definitely that current Audi identity with those taptic screens here with the set nav and here below the climate system. Not to forget your virtual cockpit. Then we have these new mirrors on the left and on the right the virtual mirrors of course but this screen is also touchable so you can also move the other mirror display to have a look so I'm moving my finger here and this display is changing with the touch you just reset it and you go back to your normal mirror so yeah display with a touch integrated high-tech guys next to the display we have the light switches and these are still with a taptic touch 
just like my A8 and A7 review you probably already saw. On top of there we have that little ambient light bar continuing all the way through the dash. There we have a metal aluminium trim on top combined with some leather on the dash. A Harman Kardon speaker there also on the right and on the left here a little tweeter. And then you have that design with a white design just like actually all current Audi models a really deep and white design leather combined with that aluminium e-tron logo in that orange steering wheel well just like all current models this is a comfort steering wheel not the sport s steering wheel so you have some nice grip in the center but also as you used to be leather with some gray stitching in the center and here you control your virtual cockpit with your views let's have a look at the center console of the e-tron so this is uh, familiar as all current audi models taptic screens all taptic buttons on the screen you can hear the little clicks well let's <laughs> there you go so this is your set nav all a touch button fast and yeah, really intuitive moving so you can change everything here from your car settings, phone apps to your very important Audi Drive Select where you can change the program of the car and lower or higher settings. Below the SETNAV MMI system we have a taptic screen again for the climate system, really advanced. Seat heating buttons for example here, air conditioning so now set to automatic. And these two screens are really communicating a lot with each other but you can also turn off the screens if you want some rest during some night drive this is also a quick button for the drive select traction control on or off rear or front heating for the windows this is the 360 camera there we go with a 3d view swipe all the way well, yeah, that's normal for these days. If you're watching my reviews, this is pretty normal for you. So, yeah, this is actually uh, the little gearbox button. So, here you control your gearbox. So, you might think this is the gear knob, but actually, it's just this. So, not this, but this is the gear knob. And you just tick this to the front or to the back to put it in drive neutral and we have here a little parking button there you go so this is also leather and this is actually really nice because you can well just chill your arm here <laughs> so that's actually a quite comfortable comfortable space here so here in the center we have a very big open space because yeah we don't have a normal gearbox so yeah we have a lot of space extra there you have a 12 volt input here below two cup holders nice ambient lighting here the big armrest some extra more space if you need and by the way there we have a sim card input sd card usb and the second usb seat belt ah that's also lightened that's nice so at night you can find your seat belt connection and these are the black these are the black Velcona with gray stitching sport seats quite big front section of the e-tron check let's have a quick look in rear seats oh by the way we have a panoramic roof so let's open this fully up there we go Okay, rear section, whoa, it's quite a big rear door actually. Still that nice ambient trim with silver, color choice actually pretty similar of the car, more greenish. Alcantara with that leather and the gray stitching. 
And here you can see the door handle still with that same design, but now we don't have a display, but a speaker unit. Again the entrance, e-tron edition 1, and a little lightened door sill. Uh, and by the way, this entrance was quite comfortable. Okay, rear passenger point of view here in the e-tron. Quite big, quite big. So here also a little ventilator for the rear passenger. And yeah, quite a big view here, guys. Whoa. I don't know if you can't see it, but yeah, I'm still the same size as all my other reviews I did. So you can clearly see how much space I have here in the rear section of the Z-Tron. Really nice. Really big window. That's, that's something to note. The window is quite wide, so I have a proper view. So for the rear passengers, a little climate system for the left and on the right. This is all also some touch buttons and a cool display here. Here on top, two little vents. Here below, uh, 12 volt input and two USB inputs. The proper for going on black leather seats. Not to forget, cool armrest with two cup holders and some extra spaces. Extra reading lights. Audi has gone electric, guys. The Audi e-tron, well, it's a first impression. I think this car will be a success. I mean, we now have a German built car, a modern car, fully electric. Thank you for watching. If you need any info, check out my socials below. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you on the next video. Ciao. Audi has gone electric indeed. I have here the full spec option list of this Audi e-tron 55 Quattro.